10 years ago, I never expected to be where I'm at today. I never thought I would be in the ministry, much less a missionary. Growing up, my family didn't attend church. I knew very little about the Bible, or God for that matter. When I was 14 years old, a family member invited me to church. I started attending off and on, and I really didn't understand what the big deal was until a Wednesday night service in November of 2007. That night, the pastor had preached on heaven and the state of man. And at that moment, I finally understood what it meant to be saved and what it meant to be forgiven. And on the back row of that church, I gave my life to Christ. At the age of six, while visiting my dad, I attended Hopewell Baptist Church of Napa, California. It was here that I first heard the gospel. About six years later, through a series of events, I was placed in the care of my father. It was because of this that I began attending church faithfully and going to the Christian school. In the year 2007, I attended camp with my youth group. It was during the Wednesday night service, under the preaching of my pastor, that I received the assurance of my salvation and at the same time surrendered my life to Christ. Six months after I got saved, I attended a revival meeting where I felt God leading me into the ministry and giving me my call to preach. The passage that was preached that night has become my life verse. Mark 1.18 says, And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. Using that verse, I surrendered to do whatever God had for my life, although I never took into consideration that it could possibly be missions work. In 2013, I attended Bible College. It was there that my heart was stirred for missions. That summer, I took a trip to Zambia, Africa, and God confirmed to my heart that he wanted me to be a missionary. It was almost eight months later that the Lord made it clear that he wanted us in East Africa. I told God I would do whatever he had for my life, even if he wanted to send me to Africa. Little did I know God would call my future husband to that very place. My life verse became Philippians 1.12, but I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happen unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. I realize that all the events that have happened in my life were for the furtherance of the gospel. Ultimately, my life is about sharing the love of Christ wherever God places us. And right now, God has placed in our hearts East Africa. For the most part, countries in East Africa are considered predominantly Christian. Although millions of people have never heard the gospel, our main focus is to plant new churches and to start Bible institutes to teach and train others to spread the gospel in their own countries. The hunger for God is undeniable and the people are open to his word and they are just waiting for someone to share it. We are sent out of Hopewell Baptist Church of Napa, California. We are the Newton family, missionaries to East Africa. We are privileged with the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but the gospel is only good news to those who hear it. <laughs>